Hello guys, I hope everything is good. Today I will have another kill build for you today in the Division 2. This is one of the most unique builds that I came up with. You know, when you run out of ideas, you want to try different things. And you know, one of the things that really bothers me about the capacitor is the fact that it's really slow. So, you know, on top of that, skill builds don't, does not have high damage with, with weapons. Now, so on top of that, they're squishy. You know, I felt short sometimes trying to finish off, finishing off an enemy, and that cost me sometimes some battles. And you know, I I said to myself, well, let me try something different. Let me see if this works. And surprisingly, it does. I was able to now do better. You know, in terms of like be a little more offensive with my capacitor. That fifteen percent. Red of fire makes a huge difference in my opinion and bumps up the capacitor to 805 rpm and the difference is noticeable when you're trying to like being somebody that's on fire you should be able to have total advantage while you shoot him that enemy it's gonna be as an additional source of damage so you should be able to burn them down really quickly uh, now in terms of attributes i will use the same as always status of and skill damage in every piece that i can remember this the came launcher have plenty of shells so i really don't need that much skill haste now on the pieces i have skill haste here is not the ideal stat that i would like to have I would like to have status effects in there, maybe some skill damage. But the fact that I want to that initial explosion to be as strong as possible, so I can finish them with the capacitor. Now, even with that weapon handle, which is pretty much you know useless, you still be able to beam the capacitor, beam with the capacitor with no problems. You can see the control, the recoil is almost like non-existent. Not only that, look how quickly. My capacitor already on 40 stacks, which that gives me a total of 65% skill damage. Okay, and remember that not only that, I have 45% weapon damage because the capacitor, as you know, has 7.5 weapon damage for each skill tier that you have in your build. So I have a 6 tier that equals 45, and an additional 25 damage here. With glass cannon, which is my preferred talent to use with a fire starter. Okay, uh, you can use try other talents. I wish spider would work with this build, but unfortunately, it can't. Uh, this you know, the capacitor is an exotic, so you cannot put any other attachments, or maybe you can use unbreakable if you want to, like you know, you're afraid of face trading with glass cannon. I'm not, I'm not really very comfortable. You remember when you disable a dps player with fire you basically take out all that crit damage that they have on their bills because they cannot crit so you will take some damage but you should be able to finish them off without problem uh when you turn them on fire and you start shooting them with a capacitor okay now you have two wyverns here for the skill damage and saddles effect okay like i said you want to stack as much Skill damage and status effect as possible, and one golem with one blue here. Of course, more status offense skill damage. Um, in the striker pieces, you would like to have skill damage. Remember the the downside about gear set is that it only provide you one attribute. So would you need to choose what works best for you? In my opinion, at least having two with skill damage, and then the other people with status effect will be the best play because like i mentioned before you want to that initial explosion to you know deal as much damage as possible so you can just basically finish them off with a capacitor okay so pretty much straightforward the other 
you know gun that you can use is uh any gun that has perpetuations you want to prolong that uh fire damage and also the duration of it and then the side does the sidearm really doesn't matter uh, i use this for pve purposes sometimes so i have it there the cooldowns of my cam launcher is not really that bad 19.2 i think is very low enough to you know not deal with cooldown problems so if you are more careful how to use your shells you should be no problem and not only that you know by putting them on fire and finishing them off with a capacitor enables you to pretty much save extra shells you don't have to put another one just to you know finish them off now this build is not for everyone remember skill builds are really squeegee they also don't pack a punch with damage uh with any weapons for the lack of you know crit chance and and crit hit damage and all that stuff that dps uses but this basically is an additional source of damage that you're applying to uh that enemy remember when they put the fire when you start you know taking down their armor the first thing they do usually is run to cover to try to put a mech kit and most of the time you know when i didn't have the the striker set i first so short that they will help they were able to put the the mech kit off and then come back to uh, our team uh i was able you know i've been able to go solo my home with this build uh, but remember, I've been, I'm an experienced skill player. I've seen it all. I've done it all. And, you know, I use my the map at my advantage to pretty much, you know, kite them and kill them and go solo my uh, For the mods, by the way, you always want to pack damage and ammo for the chem launcher. And same for the hive, you want uh, stinger charges, damage, and health. Okay, guys so pretty much straightforward again you know give it a try use the technician for this build just to grant you that like, extra blue there and skill damage as well uh to hit even harder and survive a bit you know have more survivability with that blue i hope you like it guys i will like i said i will try to start pumping more videos of my skill builds i have plenty to show you as you can see <laughs> All my loadouts for the most part are skill build, so there's all the videos I'm gonna be working on to show you guys, especially this one. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be interested in that one. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.